Oh, Ooh. it's me. <laughs> Welcome to the High Ground Podcast. I'm your host, Ollie, and with me is my co host, Cisco. With the most. I'm Cisco. Yeah, we haven't used that one in like 100 years. I know, right? But yeah. Welcome back to the High Ground Podcast. Yeah, so the world collapsed again, but this time movies. <laughs> Am yeah. I right, you guys? Yeah. You guys, everybody. You know what? Let's just jump right into it. First of all, but you know what? Let's like let, let let's start with let's start a little bit a little bit um on a lighter note. San Diego San Diego Comic Con, right? Yeah. San Diego Comic Con happened. A bunch of a bunch of. Really fun announcements. Mm. Super cool announcements. We got stuff like a new trailer for The Marvels. The Marvels, a movie that's going to flop because people don't like women. We got another trailer for Blue Beetle, a movie that's going to flop. Because and you know why? They're going to give a shit and say, oh, you had your Black Panther. This It was Blue Beetle. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 something. We have Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer like came out be, this weekend. I feel like that's gonna be fine. Barbenheimer is doing great. Barbenheimer is doing fine. It's doing great, you guys. Totally. But there are people that have. But there are people that have problems with Barbie and Oppenheimer, which is weird to me because no, just just Barbie. With just Barbie, no one has a problem with Bar- with Oppenheimer. No, no way. No, 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 no. So people, it's so weird how the movie, how the movie, people are saying that the movie about that the movie about the atom bomb that was dropped on Japan is somehow less political than Barbie. <laughs> like, like somehow that movie oh. is less political. Well, if you put it like that, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't understand how we got from one thing to another. But um, well, that's because points its finger at America. Not, <laughs> not fucking, you know, it's, it's not like pro-bomb shit. It's like, <laughs> no. This was bad. <laughs> this is bad. We, we made a grave mistake. And above all, above else, the man, the myth, the infamous himself, Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Mask off. Mask off. Rebranding his company name from Twitter to X. What a terrible... What a weird thing, too. Yeah. Like, what a weird... Th- like... Just because you can do something? Just because he, he did it simply because he can. There's no other reason. You know, it's to align with his uh, SpaceX bullshit. Well, of course. But even then... But even then... Like, I but, understand you have, like, the millions of people, blah, blah, blah. But, like... I'm sorry. This. No. Nobody wants this. Mm. Not a single soul. You know what else? I mean, we're just going to be firing down these topics, mm. these things. After 10 years off the air, Futurama returns tomorrow. Good news, everyone. Futurama returns tomorrow after 10 years off the air. Like- I hope it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. Like, let's be so funny for real. Every time it comes back, it turns out pretty good. Yeah. Sure, it'll be fine. They have not missed yet. I just hope it doesn't Simpsons itself. That's because that thing never left. <laughs> just hope it doesn't Simpson it up. <laughs> I, I have faith in Matt Lady Groening. Gaga. Lady <laughs> Gaga. Dancing with Fry and Leela. <laughs> well, she'd be ahead in the jar. Yes. But yeah. Um, I just So a new story trailer, a bunch of new information came out about Spider-Man 2. But the only thing that I want to talk about is that Miles finally escaped the Fade curse. He finally (laughs) escaped the Fade... You didn't notice that? No, no, no. That's one of the things I said that was the best part of that. Yes, he Uh. escaped the Fade curse. Man finally made it out. He went from one generic hairstyle to another. Yes, he did. But still, (laughs) but still, a win is a win. A win is a win. In terms of DC news... In terms of DC news, mm. um, they're making a Watchmen movie. Yeah, we rebooting a Watchmen baby. animated movie. We rebooting baby. A Watchmen animated movie and a Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths movie. Even though that like the Tomorrowverse already like recently started a couple years ago, and we're and we're just taking getting away from it. I do respect the commitment to like having that consistency between all DC avenues of media. James Gunn, baby, he wants everything to be one cohesive universe. Except baby. the comics. 
<laughs> but not not the comics. He said he might, but that, that would require too much work. That's too. That's way too much work. Yeah. Yeah. Invincible to season read. two finally got a release date. I'm so, excited. And here are the list of guest stars: mm. Josh Keaton, oh. Peter Cullen. Oh, Chloe Bennett. Why, ho, 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 ho. Spider Man, Optimus Prime, and Quake McChloe? And Quake McChloe. <laughs> oh. Chloe. Tim Robinson. How do I know that name? Ray Seahorn. Mm. Tatiana Maslani. Tatiana Maslani? <laughs> Tatiana Maslani. Oh, t- oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. She Hulk. <laughs> Callista Flockhart. Callista. Callista you Flockhart. can't grab. <laughs> can't grab. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Those are the list of voice guest stars in Invincible Season 2. Oh my god. Stacked. <laughs> Stacked cast. Hey, my favorite comic is getting the. Finally coming back. A new Punisher comic got announced. I don't care. A new Walking Dead show. I don't care. Hmm. What do you care about, Cisco? You know what I care about? Mm. Everyone on the internet unanimously th- wants. You know, okay, you know what's so funny? Mm. When when uh, when certain figures get big in black culture, every single part of their lives is is then under critique. It happens in other cultures too, but mm. specifically in black culture. Mm. You know how I know that? Mm. Look at the love life of Zendaya. And Tom Holland. And Tom Holland. You're going to talk about the back shot shit? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, you know, well, you know well, what? What a button that. <laughs> oh. I'm talking about the back shot shit. Oh, we getting the button. Because I haven't used the button in a while. Keep going. Because everything, everything pertaining to that entire situation is so fucking weird. And it, and it, and it like shines back to like. I don't even think it registered. Yes. And it all comes back to parasocial relationships. Huh? None of y'all know Zendaya. None of y'all know Tom Holland. Mm. But everyone unanimously wants to comment on every single thing in their relationship. Mm. Remember when that one trailer dropped for mm. that one uh, Zendaya movie with, mm. with, with her doing, have in that threesome with those two white niggas? Mm. And everyone was like, couldn't be me. Yep. Nigga, it's not you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not you, and it was not going to be you. No, it was never going to be. You. It wasn't even. It wasn't even really her either. It was. It was a movie. It was a character. And it, it's about split personalities and shit. Like, I mean, so, niggas would never do it, but. But it, nigga, but niggas is insecure. That's what it is. Because <laughs> I'm an actor, Billy. <laughs> because that's literally all it is. Niggas is insecure. Niggas were niggas were were mad that he was that he wasn't mad enough mm. at that shit. And it's well, like he quit Hollywood, so I don't. Know but what. even then, at the end of this, this is this is this is something that I feel like niggas have yet to comprehend, right? Because uh, it's a job. It one, it's a job. Two. You know what? I'll explain, I'll explain it in toxic nigga terms for these niggas. Mm-hmm. It does not matter how many how many fake sex scenes Zendaya or Tom can film in any movies. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, they are ha- they are with you the, in real life. They are the only two that get, that get to be with each other in yes. real life. True. It does not matter how how many how many fucking niggas jerk off to your girl on OnlyFans or whatever the fuck. No matter how many well, Google people, this route. I'm going down this route because it pisses me off. Because niggas is weird. It doesn't matter how many fucking pictures or whatever the fuck your girl posts. At the end of the day, but what you if you're are Adam Twenty Two and let somebody fuck your wife. <laughs> but, then, but he's also fucking people, though. Oh, he's also fucking oh, people. Yeah. That's what an open relationship is. Yeah. That's what a, the, people just <laughs> nigga. When it's a man, when it when it's when it's one side of a thing, mm. niggas are just rude. <laughs> niggas are just rude. <laughs> Niggas saw the a one thing and were like, no, <laughs> no. Like it does not matter. It does not like. For example, mm. it does not matter how many, how many, how much, how much porn or whatever bullshit Adam Twenty Two film, films with himself and another girl in the future. Right, right. Because no, because niggas don't care about that. Niggas are here to hate. <laughs> niggas are here to hate and to talk bullshit. 
That is the only thing niggas are here for. Because, mm. yeah, Adam Adam and his wife are in an open relationship. She does porn with niggas. He does porn with, with, with women. But that's together. not what Together. <laughs> but even but then. Now. <laughs> but even then. Now, now if he goes and does something with, someone else, with something else, niggas not going to give a fuck about that. Because they don't care about that. Yeah. Niggas are here to make fun of a nigga getting cucked. <laughs> yeah. That's all they're here for, even when he himself is okay with it. But what about Tom Holland? Tom Holland's not getting cucked either. He it's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie. Like, like it's not it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. You know, you know who you know who's you know who's really profiting off of this? Mm. The nigga. <laughs> the nigga. That yeah. nigga is really funny. Jason getting all that bread. That nigga is really funny. But like, but yeah. But yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much the entire thing. Niggas just need to calm the fuck down. Mm. Like, you know what? Here, this is this this is gonna be this is gonna this is gonna be a very, this is my take mm. on but this is, this is like weeks late. Mm. My take on the Kiki Palmer situation, right? Whoa. Like for example like for example, mm-hmm. do I think that she was that that that, that she should have that she should have gone out dressed like that. She can dress however the fuck she wants. It's she has free free will. Mm-hmm. Now, leaving your girl around Usher, like leaving your girl around Usher is a completely different thing to me. Mm-hmm. Like that's a complete like. I it's not it's not that I wouldn't trust my girl. But it's that I don't trust Usher. Usher. <laughs> like that's it's not it's not the girl. Oh. It's Usher. Oh, Cisco. niggas should know that Usher is Usher. Oh, SpongeBob. I don't. Th- I, I don't think I'm saying anything that crazy. I don't think I'm saying anything that crazy. Cause like, cause like, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm saying anything that anything that wild. Cause, cause like, this nigga Usher is known. To do the, to do this shit at car, at concerts, mm. it is physically known to do this shit at concerts. I mean, I don't even know if her and her baby daddy are even together. Not anymore. Then oh, it's Fugazi Fugazi. It's Fugazi Fugazi. No one should fucking care. It's Fugazi Fugazi. And then like no one should fucking care if they want if they weren't even together. Nope. Like no one should fucking care. It's real. It's literally that nigga being like. My girl is get is getting attention from niggas that are not me. Or my ex is getting is getting attention from niggas that are not me. <sighs> and then taking that shit to social media, mm. you pussy ass nigga. Whoa. Like no, but that's that's objectively what that what that is. That's pussy behavior. That's okay. objectively pussy behavior. Okay. Speak on it, King. Like that's like I'm sorry, but it's like nah. The entire it's like you know what? Here, here here's another thing. Yeah. The Jonah Hill shit. The Jonah Hill shit. The Jonah Hill shit. The that nigga took. M- you know what? You know why the Jonah Hill, sh- Hill shit makes me mad specifically? Why? He took my profession and tried to and tried to use it to manipulate somebody. You think that's manipulation, nigga? Boundaries are 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 limiting the access that someone has to you. Not these are the set of rules that you have to abide to have access to me. It's 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 placing the restrictions on yourself. Not you can do this, this, and this. That's not what boundaries are. But if he's saying something that makes him uncomfortable in the relationship, then don't be in a relationship with that person. That's different. I mean, they broke up, right? But even then, it's like, what do you what do you say? Like, but yeah, that, but that's it would the, be no, one no. thing it's, if he it's, said if it was some crazy shit. Like, mm-hmm. if it was, if it was some crazy shit, like. He said, "This is what I'm comfortable with. This is what I'm not comfortable with. But if you even, don't like it, but like leave. the stipulations are because like she's a professional surfer right. who posts pictures of her surfing. Yeah, he, yeah. he was like, don't do that, and then we can date. That I mean, is wild. I mean, it was more than don't go surf. But no, was, no, no. I'm not saying he didn't say go. Don't go surf. Don't post pictures of of the of you surfing. Nah." That's, that's not what he but said. But that's all that that is, though. That's not what he said. Any picture of her in a bikini that's, at a, at, in a fuck in a fucking that, water. That's definitely that's what that that's, is. That's definitely not what he. Okay, what, what did he say? He was talking about okay. I don't like the, the certain people you hang out with, because once you get in a relationship, it's kind of complicated because there's certain things you can't do just out of respect for your partner, like hang around a bunch of dudes or if you're a girl. 
It, well, you know what I mean. If you're a guy, don't hang around a bunch of girls. If you're a dude, even if they're your friends, there's just a level of there's a level of things that you can't do anymore. It's not out of insecurity. It's just a respecting. There are going to be people that disagree with this, but if you take a general consensus of most of the populace, this is what they tell you. Me? That's why I'm not in a relationship. I don't, I don't care. But for most people, they're going to tell you, yeah, don't do that. That's, and, and on top of that, it's not... Of course, there. She's a she's a surfer, bro. I've seen surfers that don't wear bikinis to the shit. They wear like actual surf gear. I'm not saying she has to, but there is a legitimate gear for surfers. That being said, it's the context of the pictures because I, I've seen people. I've seen one wear lingerie and it doesn't look bad. It doesn't 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 not look classy. But then there's other times where they're wearing like literally string bikinis and shit like twerking their ass and so it's all about context so you might have heard that looked at her page and said i don't see the problem but we don't know what pictures jonah was referring to so for all you know it could have been some wild crazy shit now they broke up she deleted that shit or whatever and it's not there anymore so it's so you know it's all about context we're not in their relationship but and mind you they they, were, they broke up a long time ago jonah it's about to have a baby with another woman. Mm. This came out near the same week as the Kiki Bomber shit. She is the villain. In the story. She's the because villain in the she, story. It's not like this was she 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 should have dropped this when they were together. No, she chose to wait when she wanted some clout and make this nigga look bad, especially considering he's about to uh, congratulate, you know, uh, bring a child into this world. That's when she decided to mask off. No, let's not twist this shit and try to make this okay. And it's not even like the it's not like the Kiki Palmer situation because he that that text was never meant to to be t in public. That was between two people. Mm. So they, she, this shouldn't have been public. She made it public. She's the bad guy. He said, "This is what I'm willing to tolerate." He didn't say anything rude. He didn't say it wasn't disrespectful. He just said, "This is my shit. This is what I'm uncomfortable with. If you don't want, if you can't respect that, I respect you, but I gotta go." That's literally what he said. If y'all saw that shit and said he's a manipulative bat, that's that's not manipulation. You know what manipulation what is? is that? Like it's when niggas just like, if you don't if you don't do what I say, I will fucking cut myself. I will shoot my brain. <laughs> that's the shit. And mm. niggas is like, oh shit, if I leave this person, they're really gonna do it. yeah, because that's a real manipulation shit. Or like, I control all the power in this relationship. All your financial assets mm. are tied to me. I can literally make you a bum off the street. No, you have your own profession. You have your own mm. life. He literally just said, this make me uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't like the certain people you hang out with. Because sometimes it's true. It's like your friends. You ever see a friend you had, and then you see them hang out with the wrong type of crowd, and you say, hey, bud, you shouldn't be hanging out with these people. They're like, you can't tell me to do it. I do whatever I want. And then guess what? We're like, all right, bet. We just don't hang out no more. That's literally the, the same shit situation. It's like, listen, babe, I love you, but the people you're hanging out with, the things that you're doing, I, I know that you're, this is your profession, but there's certain things like, I love you and I respect you, but I, I would want you to make better decisions. But if she keeps doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, and not giving you any choice, be like, hey, Either change some shit around or I gotta leave. Girls do that shit all the time. <laughs> Girls <laughs> like, hey, hey, get a job, you bum, or I leave you. Or this, you better not be fat. <laughs> I'll leave you sometimes. <laughs> Niggas do that too. Oh, you fat? You're not gonna change? But I'm gonna get you skinny, skinny one. Like, Niggas do that shit all the time, but that's ultimatums. But what he's doing is more like, after a long period of time, again, we don't know the context of the relationship, he probably just like, you know what, fuck it. This is, these are my grievances. You don't want to listen? And you don't want to respect that? Fine. Let's not force something to drag on. This is what I'm this is where I'm at. Can't meet me there. I wish you nothing but the best. I'm not gonna be rude <laughs> to you. I'm not gonna scream at you. But namaste, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you the villain, Mrs. I don't know your name. But you <laughs> I don't know your name. That's a fair perspective. Mm. But yeah, back to the writer strike bullshit. So actors, am I right? Actors, actors. and writer strikes. Writers and actor strikes. Here's the problem. 
here's here's the issue. Mm. The writers have been on strike for a couple months now, right? Yep. Now the Actors Guild of America has joined them. Yeah, man. Against, against Disney, against Amazon, against fucking Sony, against all these companies that refuse to give these people their fair wages in life. I've heard stories of SNL cast members that make $27 a month. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Fuck it. It's actually fucking insane movie movie m- people who are who are starring in movies right now aren't allowed to go to premiere margot robbie did not go see barbie <laughs> think about that <laughs> think about that Internet did more promotion for that movie than the actual star the oppenheimer people did more promotion for barbie than barbie but, uh, think yeah. about that and they left the amount of the amount of people that that are out there is fucking crazy, and the and the lengths that these companies are willing to go to break these people is also crazy. And they want to drag this shit on for months. Executives at Disney literally said that they will wait until these people are homeless on the street before before they even think about anything. They're willing to let this drag on for months. This is something that's going to affect that's going to affect production on movies, TV, anything for years to come. You thought COVID delays were bad? Oh yeah, no, this is worse. This is worse. Anyone who is still who still remembers the 2000 and six actors. Well, you know how many shows? Remember all the to- fucking reality shows? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. We're gonna get a lot of shitty reality shows mm-hmm. again. <laughs> like, Not like, even because those need writers. Those need writers too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get fucking nothing. Pop Idol or we're, some we're, shit. We're gonna get nothing. <laughs> we're gonna get nothing. <laughs> now everything needs writers. It's not like the old days where they could crank out crap. The night shows gone. All everything. Everything's gone. Everything. Yeah. Everything is gone. And what can we do? Nothing. What we can do as as consumers. Is make content. <laughs> is make content. But now you can't. If you if your whole brand. If you go to movie premieres, you're a cool. <laughs> you're a cool. If you take actors, I'm not gonna jobs, call any names, but there is one specific nigga <laughs> that everyone's dogging on, which I find really funny. I'm not gonna want to say. It no, <laughs> it's not <had> goofy. <laughs> it's not <had> goofy. No, <laughs> yeah. no, yes, he did is. that. Yes, no. <laughs> He did it. That nigga made several videos on why he's going to continue to do it. <laughs> he he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh my god. Yep. What the fuck? Yeah, it's it's upsetting. I thought it was gonna be soups. Straw no. hat. Straw hat. He's gotta pay them bills. <laughs> he's gotta pay them bills. Straw hat would enter the DGP because he values his life over others. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess who's not gonna get invited to? Oh, and he was all buddy buddy with Tom Cruise. Yeah, nah, he never will be buddy buddy with Tom Cruise no more. He can't be buddy buddy with Tom Cruise. Now, now everybody in Hollywood gonna know this nigga right here. <laughs> this nigga right here. He lost entire his entire career for a paycheck. Pretty much. Yes, we know we know where he lies. Where his aspect, where his his loyalties lie. But yeah, me personally, here's my here's my here's how I'm here's how I feel like my point of view of this is gonna is gonna manifest i've decided that from here on out until this ends i'm putting a strict law that i'm not i'm not going to see movies unless i deem them important like like fucking blue beetle oh yeah blue beetle is an important movie uh uh-huh. latino latino representation fucking a semi tokusatsu film like like these are things that that I find important that I need to see represented on screen. FNAF. I need to see Five Nights at Freddy's on screen. Mm. It has to happen. Mm. Like I like I have to see it go. I have to see it. I have to see that through. Anything else? I don't think I, I don't think I'll see anything else this year. It's not worth it. I don't care about I, I don't care about Wonka. No, that looks. Terrible. I don't care about the color purple. No, the, the the original is better. Like these are not th- these are not these are not movies that I, that I, that I find interesting that I probably would have watched out and, of boredom. And or the just, remakes or prequels to things that 
already exist. Yeah, like these are things that I would have watched out of boredom or completely ignored. I'm not letting that. I'm not letting that guide my mo- my movie ticket price anymore. Because especially was, considering how expensive that shit is. Especially considering how expensive movie ticket prices are. Yeah. I've been slowly falling out of falling out falling off movie t- movie shit this year anyway. Mm. Like here Flash the, broke me. Four movies I saw this year. I have five movies I saw that I've seen this year, right? Mm. I saw Guardians. Yep. Mario movie. Yep. Shin Kamen Rider. Mm. Fucking Spider Verse. Mm. And The Flash. I saw. What did you see? It's I also saw Barbie. I forgot about Barbie. Uh, Flash, Guardians, Black Panther. I don't know. Creed. Those are the last tickets I bought. Mm. And then I've seen movies other ways. Yeah. <laughs> and, the other, and the other thing. But yeah, like I'm only seeing movies in theaters that I care about or that I deem important. Mm-hmm. That's like how, how I really am manifesting any of this. Anything other than that that I deem influence or not important, I refuse to let to let to waste my money on. They're coming to streaming anyway. It's streaming anyway. Also, I hate to say this, but for those who pay for streaming services, cancel your streaming services. Really? That's what they're banking on. <laughs> That's what they're banking on. That's what these b- Bob Iger wants you to watch Boy Meets World five times. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no, I refuse. I refuse. F movies. Soap. Go on all these other places. Movie box, <laughs> go watch your shit legally. Be a fucking criminal. Gar gar gar. Be a fucking criminal. That's the only way that these niggas are going to listen. If Simon Pegg is out there on these streets, why aren't you? I don't live in Hollywood. No, I mean like figuratively. Oh, figuratively being on the streets means pirating. Like that's that, that's what I consider being figuratively on the streets. Ron Perlman. Oh yeah, Ron Perlman said, I'll beat your ass. Ron Perlman is calling for the address of the nigga that said that he was gonna wait for these niggas to be homeless. You don't wanna fuck around with Walt with Ron Perlman. Slade. Slade. You don't wanna fuck around with him. Like, this is not the guy. <laughs> this is not the guy to fuck around with. But yeah. That that's the writer strike shit. The Ron Perlman video. Listen to me, mother. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial. Some of it is karma. And some of it is just... But yeah, that's what that's what Ron Perlman said. He said that he's going to fight them niggas. You know who I want to laugh at before we wrap up? I want to laugh at every single person. That thinks Spider Verse is coming out next year. Well, <laughs> Sp- Spider Verse is a mess on its own. That that deserves its own strike. Yes, <laughs> I every every one of y'all niggas that thinks uh, that thinks beyond the Spider Verse is somehow oh, no, coming but didn't out. Didn't Sony next say it got delayed anyway before this whole shit started? No, it didn't. It, they, the, the 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 as of right now. The release date stands firm. But they dropped a little, little thing on Twitter. They're like, hey, guys. It move- might not come out the next year. But even then, the, the official release date still stands firm. And everyone's mind, everyone's talking about the official release date, blah, blah, blah. It's still next year. That should not happen. I don't know what dimension they think. I don't know what y'all think is going on. It's but we're not seeing that bitch until fucking 2027, 2028. I'm telling y'all right now. And on the writer's strike, fuck, <laughs> especially with the writer's strike, shit, man, we are not seeing that movie for years to come. You understand? I was a freshman in high school when the first Spider Verse came out, Jesus and we're Christ. just now getting this. Now you're in college. Now I'm in college. <laughs> like, like I'm in college now, and and this, and we're just now getting the second movie, bro. The kids are gonna be. I'll be a father. <laughs> I'll be a father when the next one comes out. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're not gonna lie to me and tell me and tell me this. Yeah, these movies take a long time to make it. These movies like, take a four long years? time. Yeah, each movie. I'm like no, it's it's done. And even then, they were on a crunch to make this in four years. Is they crunched time? 
to make this movie. Yeah, and they they, yeah, they haven't even started. They were overworked to the point where a lot of the animators left and leaked the the Miles Forty Two shit. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Oh yeah, they did. We know what that looks like now. <laughs> we do. Mm. We know what that looks like. Yeah, he's Robin Hood. Yeah, shit, man. But yeah, any niggas who think that Spider Verse is coming out here is coming out next year. Y'all are y'all are goofy, goofy, goofy people. Goobers, goofy goobers. But yeah, thanks for coming back and watching and listening to this short mini episode of the High Ground Podcast. Thank you guys for watching. Go check out our other episodes. Go check out our go check out our Patreon to hear us comments over movies and TV shows. Have a good day. Go drink some water. Your lips are chapped. There you go.